Beetle Adventure Racing is one of the best racers I have ever played. It pushes the graphic envelope of the Nintendo 64 to new levels and this game doesn't even make use of the expansion pack. The sound effects are some of the best I've ever heard, except for the game show host announcer. And the gameplay is phenomenal. It's one of the few titles I'll be able to look back on and say, this game was really fun. Beetle Adventure Racing puts players behind the wheel of one of several new beetles. Some turn better than others, some have better acceleration, and some have a higher top speed. But all are a blast to drive. Even a bicycle will be fun to ride in this game. Why? Because the tracks are spectacular. Ranging from a spoof of Jurassic Park to a complex city with freeways, hairpin turns, and even staircases that can be used as ramps, the tracks are complex, beautiful, and enjoyable over and over. In fact, many of the tracks seem to be taken directly from famous movies. There's the lava chamber inspired by Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom, the screeching zigzag hairpin turns set in the mountains of James Bond's For Your Eyes Only, and falling pillars in architecture like in Raiders of the Lost Ark. EA clearly had a specific goal in mind when they set about creating Beetle Adventure Racing, and they've succeeded. Now there are bound to be comparisons drawn between this and Midway's San Francisco Rush, but the two titles are different enough to warrant Beetle Adventure Racing being considered a success on its own right. Up to four players can connect to the Nintendo 64 and race each other into the ground. If they choose to get violent, they can partake in the Beetle Battle Mode, which resembles the head-to-head -head driving frenzies found in Mario Kart races, and whip around blasting each other and acquiring six ladybugs to win the match. tracks in Beetle Adventure Racing are long, very long. Even at top speed, which is around 200 km an hour, it takes over three minutes to complete a single lap on the majority of the courses. On top of this, Beetle Adventure Racing rewards players for crashing into things. But unlike the generic mayhem of Carmageddon, which required players to destroy as much as possible to advance, Beetle Adventure Racing lets players choose to race their cars, go on one-ton destruction sprees, or any combination of the two. The two main modes of play are simple. Wander around in the time trial mode looking for shortcuts and secrets, then put them to use against a computer or your friends. Or ignore the bonus boxes containing nitro boosts or extra points and leave your opponents in the dust. Or when you get really good at the game, you'll actually be able to do both. To unlock additional cars and tracks, players must win first place in an overall circuit. Players have to stay in the top three overall positions to advance, but can even come last on a specific race as long as their point total remains high. If they fall out of the top three, then they can continue, but there's the rub. Players have to earn continues by accumulating points hidden around the course. They come in two, five, and ten denominations, and are stacked crates which nicely explode all over the course when rammed. All of the tracks have 100 points available, and depending on the difficulty setting, between 50 and 70 points are required to earn a continue. If a player manages to score a perfect 100, they unlock an extra track for the frantic beetle battle. The crates are hidden in haystacks, in barns, behind walls of ice, in tunnels, and are often suspended in mid-air. The last type of crate is the most challenging to get because it's not always obvious where the required ramp is. Except for a few minor control issues and some dull but mutable music, this title really will challenge any of the N64's top racers. What is most surprising is that this game seemed to come out of nowhere. I remember my game shop telling me that it had it in stock as a new release and I hadn't heard anything about it. No previews, no reviews, I got this on the basis that it looked good and the shop owner said it was cool. There is also an Australian only version of this game called HSV Adventure Racing which takes out the Volkswagen Beetles and replaces them with other cars, however the game is exactly the same. Now what I'd love to know is what are your thoughts on this game? 
Did you love the amazing graphics and fun gameplay, or were you disappointed by the extremely long track length and limited number of tracks? Let me know in the comments below, and until next time.